a lot of you who know me know that I am on <coughs> full disability uh, for mental illness. Agoraphobia is the official diagnosis. It's a big word. You never figure a mentally ill person with hair like that. Agoraphobia is a big word, but it's basically fear of fear. Fear of having a panic attack if you place yourself in a certain situation. Or if you place yourself, say, in an auditorium in the middle aisle and you don't feel you can get out. Or in a small space. And all of these have contributed to my full disability welfare, the dole, whatever you want to call it. But I've been working really, really hard to become employable. And uh, this process has been going on for years, but there's been just an explosion in the last few months since I've become Catholic. And Dr. Martin Smith, who I went to for four years here, sometimes twice a week in Denver, um, didn't have a lot of OCD, anxiety, panic attack uh, patients at the time. And he recommended that we do a thing called exposure response prevention. And that is to directly expose myself to something that made me anxious and then not respond in a ritualistic way to make the anxiety go away. Powerful, powerful therapy. And although I'm not in therapy right now, I've been continuing the exposure response prevention module, which is a behavioral mode. And one thing I can say that if I can come out of nervousness, then I can continue to function. I can continue to write or do comedy or take a walk or go to the grocery store, whatever I have to do. And this behavioral response uh, prevention mode with me is with caffeine, and these are these are real cigarettes, they're not joints. But with me, with caffeine and nicotine, I would get myself to a point of anxiety where I thought I couldn't function. And ordinarily, I would shut down. I would go into my room, put the blankets over my head. And this, this kind of mental illness isn't psychosis. It's not hearing voices that make me do things. It's It's simply... A pattern that reoccurs in my adrenal glands and my thoughts and blood pressure everything goes up when you're having this panic to this environment and this is called the fight or flight syndrome and the main reason that we're created with this is that when we are in a genuinely dan dangerous situation we need that adrenaline and we need that heart and we need that blood pumping to get away or to fight whatever it is that we face. But in my illness, agoraphobia, the fight part has gone crazy. There's nothing there to fight, but the reaction has gone crazy. So what I've been doing is systematically increasing the amount of nicotine with these cigarettes and caffeine, mostly with Pepsi. And I'll have some, and then I'll continue to write or continue to do my action without reacting in a negative, ritualistic way to end the anxiety. For today's example, I drank uh, over two liters of Pepsi. Uh, and I felt the anxiety all day, but I continued to do my activities. And this retrains my brain not to get in that groove of exposure response and it's exposure response prevention. You don't get into that groove. You simply continue on with your day. And as you see yourself function, you automatically calm down. You automatically lower your adrenaline pr production and your blood pressure. And it eventually goes away. So if this is helpful to someone, I'm really glad. And uh, it's not really funny. It's not really a satire that's what i was going to try to do i was going to try to do something funny and be a french artist and say what it was like in the middle ages to 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 kill people with the plague and then take their pictures you know i was i couldn't do it so this is just honesty from the heart you know and i'm, I'm just gonna pray lord for all those out there who are suffering from agoraphobia panic attacks fight or flight syndrome I pray that we can all learn an exposure response prevention to get through the panic and to continue to be highly functioning 
mentally ill people. In Jesus' name, amen.